welcome to this presentation on regular expression to DFA conversion. The reference for this presentation is the compiler's book by Aho and Ullman. So the procedure or the method for converting regular expression to DFA is first step is to obtain the augmented regular expression. Second step is to construct the syntax tree. Then compute the four functions that is nullable, first position, last position and follow position and then construct the DFA using follow position. The rules for constructing the first position and last position are listed here. In a syntax tree there are five types of nodes. The node may be the concatenation node or the OR node or it may be a closure or the star node or it may be a leaf node either labeled with null or labeled with position i. So always the leaf node labeled with null is nullable and the closure node is nullable. A concatenation node is said to be nullable if both C1 and C2 are nullable. For a OR node it is nullable if C1 or C2 is nullable. Now the rules for first position, last position, follow position will be explained with the example. Similarly, the algorithm for constructing DFA using follow position will be explained with the example. So the regular expression that uh, is considered in this is A plus B closure concatenation B. So first step is to obtain the augmented regular expression. So here it will be a plus B closure concatenation B concatenation hash. Then the second step is to obtain the syntax tree. Now for A plus B closure concatenation B concatenation hash, the syntax tree will be A B plus its closure, then concatenation with B and then again concatenation with hash. So this becomes the syntax tree for the given regular expression. Then the uh, in this tree, these are the leaf nodes which will be labeled with their position. Hence, the A is labeled with 1, B is labeled with 2, here B is labeled with 3 and hash is labeled with 4. These are the leaf nodes labeled with I. Then the first and last position of leaf node labeled with i is the label itself that is i itself. Hence for node with label 1 the first position will be 1 and last position will also be 1. Now for node with label 2 its first position is 2 last position is 2. Then for the node labeled with 3 First position is 3 and last position is 3. Similarly, here it is 4 and 4. So now we have done with the first and last position of all the leaf nodes. Now the first and last position of OR node. First and last position of OR node. So OR node which has two child nodes that is C1 and C2. Here child, child 1 is A and child 2 is B. The first position of OR is computed as first position of C1 union first position of C2. So here first position of C1 is 1 and first position of C2 is 2. Union of these two makes 1 and 2. So first position of OR is 1 and 2. Similarly for last position it is last position of C1 union last position of C2. Hence it is 1 union 2 which makes it 1 and 2. Then the first and last position of the closure node. So for closure node there is a single child C1. So this becomes C1 and its first position is first position of C1 itself and last position is first its last position of C1 itself. Hence it becomes 1 and 2 and 1 and 2. Then the first and last position of 
concatenation node. For the concatenation node, there are two child nodes that is C1 and C2. Here, if C1 is nullable, as this is star node, it is nullable. Hence, C1 is nullable. So, for the concatenation node, its first position will be first position of C1 union first position of C2. So, it will be 1, 2, 3. Now, for last position of this concatenation node, as C2 is not in a label, else is satisfied. So, the last position of this concatenation node will be the last position of C2. Hence, it will be 3. Then, the uh, for the concatenation node, C1 and C2 are these two nodes here. For the first position of this concatenation node, as C1 is not in a label, the first position of C1 will only be considered as the first position of this concatenation node. So it becomes 1, 2, 3. Now for the last position of this concatenation node, as C2 is not in a label, hence the last position of C2 will only be considered, hence the last position of this concatenation node becomes 4. So here we have done with the first position and the last position of all the nodes. Now we will be computing the follow positions. So the rule, if n is a star node or a closure node and i is a position in last position of the n node, then all the first positions are in follow positions. Considering this rule, now i is 1, i which is present in the last position of the star node. Hence, all the first positions will be in the follow positions of i. Similarly, 2 which is i now. So, i which is present in the last position of this concatenation node, all the first positions will be considered in the follow position of i. Then the next rule, if n is a concatenation node with two child nodes c1 and c2, left child c1 and right child c2, and i is a position in last position of c1. Then all positions in first position of c2 will be in follow position of i. Considering this rule, now we'll consider i as 1, 1 which is in the last position of c1. So, all the nodes in the first position of C2 will be considered in the follow position of 1. Similarly, now we will consider I as 2. If I is in first position, sorry, last position of C1, if I is in last position of C1, then all the first positions in C2 will be considered in follow position of i. Hence, 3 is included here. Now, again, if n is a concatenation node with c1 and c2 as the child nodes, and if i is a position in, if i is a position in the last position of c1, then all the nodes in the first position of C2 will be considered in the follow position. This is how we have computed follow position for 3. Once again, i which is 3, if i is present in last position of C1, then all the first positions of C2 will be considered in follow positions of i. Now, for 4, 4 is not satisfying both the rules. Hence, the follow position of 4 is empty. Now, till now we have computed first position, last position 
and follow positions of all the nodes. Now this follow position will be utilized for constructing the DFA. Now, according to the DFA algorithm, the star state of DFA is the root node and its first position of the root node. Hence, 1, 2, 3, which is first position of root node, is considered as the start state. Now, construction of the DFA using the follow position. So, first position of the Call it as the state A, 1, 2, 3, which is the initial state. Now we'll apply the input A to the state A, and in this state 1, 2, 3, only 1 is the position for the uh, for the symbol A. We'll confirm this. Here 1 is the position for A. 2 is the position for B and again 3 is the position for B. So in this state 1, 2, 3, 1 is the only position for A, 2 and 3 are the positions for B. Con we'll be considering this. So once again 1, 2, 3 which is the initial state, to this we have applied A. In this state only 1 is the position for A, hence we find or we consider the follow position of 1 which is 1, 2, 3 which is A itself. So with input A it goes to the state 1, 2, 3. Then to the state 1, 2, 3 will apply B. Now in this 2 and 3 are the positions for B. Hence we consider follow position of 2 and follow position of 3. Follow position of 2 which is 1, 2, 3 and follow position of 3 which is 4. So union of these two makes it 1, 2, 3, 4, which is a different state. We call it as B. So with B, it goes to the state B, that is 1, 2, 3, 4. Now to this 1, 2, 3, 4 state, we'll apply A as input. In this 1, 2, 3, 4, only 1 is the position with A. Hence, we consider only follow position of 1, which is 1, 2, 3. Hence, it goes to the state 1, 2, 3 with input A. Now, we'll apply B. In this state 1, 2, 3, 4, 2 and 3 are the states for B. Hence, we take the follow position of 2 and follow position of 3, which, is, which becomes 1, 2, 3, 4. Hence, with the input B, it remains in the state 1, 2, 3, 4. And this is how we have constructed the DFA for the regular expression using follow positions. Thank you.